Chinese broadsword. Wonderful weapon. You hear this? That sound. One of the best teachers in the world. When you get to spinning this blade right, with constant rhythm, because through the leopard we've relaxed our muscles, the snake we've calmed our blood, the tiger we have our bone alignment, the crane our breath and our mind are right because of these things. The weapon is gonna make a noise, it's gonna sing like a musical instrument. Now it's not gonna sound like this because we're gonna be moving in a pattern, I'll demonstrate. So this is a technique called passing the sword. We're gonna do one side to the other broadsword passes. Now there's a bunch of these, but these two basic ones, one goes up, one goes down. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it. Slow, then I'm gonna let you hear the ring. And remember, you can also see as a side note, this glare in the middle of the day, it could be very blinding. That's why you see some of these warriors that would have these veils, these dark black veils over like the Persians. This would help to prevent that glare. All right, so with the, mo the motion, if I cut up, I'm gonna put my thumb on the other side of the blade like this, and I'm gonna spin it all the way around so the blade goes this way. So it's gonna look like this, and this is the stance that I'm using. Why sat, side to side. So I cut up, Cut down, back up, so you can hear that singing, right? The gravity and the earth element, right? A lot of stuff going on, so this sound if you have fluidity, will create a rhythm that will become very steady. And it is within that rhythm and those reps that the whole body reprograms, literally, at the core level. So to get to this level of energy, we need to start with leopard loosening the muscles. You cannot do the drills that I demonstrated with muscles that are too tight. It just won't work. So I'm gonna demonstrate the downward cut again, which looks like this. I'm gonna cut down, let it swing up. Here's my stance. Right at the top, the inverted viper grip. I'm gonna catch just like this. Now I want the blade facing back so that when I strike down, it comes forward. Here's the motion on the other side. From the side, downward again. Upward one more time. So the passes go on and on. We can get in the neck rolls serpent under the hedge, all of those things, we can pass from the back. Now this isn't just decorative, this is a block, very practical block and broadsword, okay? So remember, with combat weapon training, nothing is for show. Modern weapon forms, wushu, is based on combat forms. It's just taken a more modern performance tone a while back. That's the only difference. So remember with the broadsword, let the sound teach you. You can get a broadsword at a variety of places online. Now, some of them will be a solid piece. You want one that'll rattle like that. There's a little piece here you can tighten that can control the rattle and it pulls the blade together. 
sometimes it may loosen on its own you'll need to tighten it up but if your broadsword starts getting loose this thing starts coming undone this is good let it come undone a little so it has that rattle a solid piece won't have the sound and we want the sound because the sound the ringing of the metal literally just goes right through you you can feel it when you develop the skill so if you found this video helpful on the broadsword learning how to pass the blade from one hand to the other then click the like button even better subscribe Sifu Les Clements out.